guys. It's the second day of hiking for me this weekend and this morning I'm in Brieg and I'm currently waiting for my bus to take me to Blatten where I will then take a cable car to start my hike. And as I mentioned already in the part one, my hike today will take me um, next to a UNESCO World Heritage Site which is the Alec Glacier. And the glacier should be absolutely stunning. Let's hope I can see it because as you can see the weather is not super sunny today. Although I can see a little bit of blue sky here behind me so all is not lost let's hope the weather plays nice and we wish for the best hi guys i am now here in bell uh, about to start my hike the guide on the post said that it should take about six hours for my hike overall. So let's see, I'm heading off this way. The scenery looks beautiful, although cloudy. So let's see what I find. So here is my final destination. Oh, it's gonna be a long walk. Let's go. I've just left the village of Bell Alp. Actually, I'm still kind of walking through it as you can see. I'm a little bit nervous at the moment because according to the map and all of my research, this hike to uh, Riedelalp, where I need to catch my gondola to go down, um, should be about a five hour hike. And because I'm usually a bit faster than the guide times, I was thinking maybe I'll ta it'll take me about four to four and a half hours. But all the signs that I checked, like the hiking signs on the posts, say it's close to six hours or more, six and a half hours. And I'm not sure what time the last um, gondola goes down from where my hike will end. So I'm a bit nervous, but I'm gonna trust that the research I did was sufficient and it does confirm the four and a half hours trek on my hiking map, which I got from here. So I think that'll do, um, it'll have to do. Then if I get stuck at my destination, <laughs> let's see what I do then. Okay, so I officially have my first views of the glacier there behind me. It's in between the clouds. I just got a clear shot before um, when there was a person behind me and I didn't want to narrate at that point. So I'll show you that image. It's spectacular with the amount of clouds and now snow coming down. I don't know how many good views or clear views I'll get of it today, but I have plenty of hiking ahead of me still, but I just wanted to give you oh that shot. Ah, oh, the clouds are clearing now. There's the glacier. Looking beautiful. So happy so far. So this is starting to be like the Matterhorn all over again from yesterday because although I'm taking care to look where I'm stepping, I can't help but to keep staring at that behind me. Isn't that gorgeous? And knowing what happened yesterday with the clouds, I don't know how many more moments I'll have to really enjoy that. So I'm taking it all in now while watching my feet because this path is not exactly rock free. So I'm gonna put my camera away so I don't tumble down into the glacier. That wouldn't be good. But, oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know how smart this was to do this today with the snow falling, but that's where I need to go. Very steep and very rocky, but here we go. All right, so dangerous or not, look at that. That's where I'm going, <laughs> all the way. There, it looks like the path is getting a little bit better. So I just need to watch my step for the, the next little bit and I should be fine. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, I've made it down the stairs of death. They are right behind me. Um, there was another hiker guy 
on the same trail, but I don't know if he was smarter than I was and just quit while he was ahead and went back. Let's see if I see him later. But for now, the trail is very, very walkable again. Um, and let's see, I'm hoping that the trail doesn't go back to what it was back there just because of the snow. It wasn't super slippery, but it was very steep and I came down very slowly because I didn't want to lose my footing. So, let's go. I've made good time. It's taken me about two hours to hike here, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go over the bridge and there should be some kind of picnic area um, somewhere nearby, so I'm gonna stop for lunch. <laughs> quick view of the glacier behind me there um, yeah I'm, I don't have words it's gorgeous here So I have to admit, this is probably the most challenging hiking trail I've done so far in my time here in Switzerland. Um, if it's not evident in any other way, uh, rock slides. And there are sections roped off to keep you from like plummeting down into the, into the gorge there. But I will keep going uh, the way to the halfway point, to the bridge. Um, was a bit easier. It was basically all downhill. I was coming down into this valley. Now I gotta go back up. So uh, I will be out of breath for the remainder of the trip and I'll um, and I'll see if I still come on or then I will just conclude with you guys later when I make it back and I'll let you know if I made that last um, train down from the mountain. Fingers crossed. I stopped for lunch. I'm almost finished, but I just had to show you. I feel like I'm sitting in a snow globe right now because there's snow gently falling down all over the place. I'm surrounded by this beautiful fall color all around me. My phone has no service, um, so I'm definitely in the middle of nowhere. But oh my gosh, this is um, this this sight was well worth the hike up here. Still about halfway to go, so two hours uphill. Yay, um, but yeah, great views. I have to say that this trail has been one of my t top um, 
favorite trails so far that I've hiked in Switzerland. The scenery is beautiful, especially the fall color. Now the snowfall on top of that is just gorgeous. But at the same time, it's also the most challenging trail that I've ever been on. It's, um, there's a good amount of like paths that are here, but a lot of it is over um, rocks and boulders and just um, not a very easy terrain to walk across. I fell once on slippery um, rocks when I was um, coming down on the other side. Nothing serious. Um, my GoPro flew one way, I flew the other way, but I had a soft landing. I was able to brace myself, so that was no problem. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to um, pop on and say that, yeah, beautiful hike, but definitely an exercise and definitely not... Um, I wouldn't recommend this as one of the first hikes that you do here in Switzerland. There are a lot that are much easier to hike, but I am up for the challenge today, so I'm enjoying it. I made it to my next checkpoint. I was a bit nervous because I thought there for a second that I might be lost, which didn't make much sense because there wasn't really any wrong turn to take. Um, but now that I came to the kind of the next uh, crossroads, I saw that the um, route that I was planning on taking, the shorter one, um, is actually closed because of a rock slide. So I have to take a little bit longer of a route. It now says that it's about an hour or so um, to where I need to go. So let's hope that I can make it the last little bit, even if I got like a little extra loop in my plans. I look to be doing really good on time, so I don't have any worries on that front. So here's a good perspective of the hike that I took on today. So if you can see that house up there, that's where I took the very first panorama shots of the glacier this morning, um, right at the beginning of my hike. I then proceeded to go down the stairs of death right over there and then continued down that way. And basically um, I've gone a long way like parallel to the um, valley here, but basically I've gone all the way down where I was close to the river when I took the bridge way back there somewhere. And now I've made it all the way up to the other side um, and I still have a little bit more to go up but I just thought I'd give you that perspective to kind of see what kind of hike I took on today.